hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well so in today's video we're going to be talking about how to rebrand yourself this video is for those who just feel like it is time for a change whether this be in your personal life or in your business life everything i'm going to say in this video is applicable if you want others to see you differently if you want others to see you how you feel like you see you or if you're just going through a transition in your life whether that's leaving a job leaving a relationship or if there's been this big scandal in your life and you just want a fresh start you just want to rebrand in this video i'm going to be dropping some keys on how to become a better you so you guys know that I talk a lot about self-image on my channel but I talk about self-image from the inside out because I truly truly believe that all change starts in between your ears in your mind before it ever shows itself outwardly but if you guys would like a video on how to rebrand yourself physically outwardly then I'll be happy to do that for you guys too so before we get started what is a brand if we want to talk about rebranding we must first establish what a brand is so i'm going to read a dictionary definition a brand is a name given to a product or service such that it takes on an identity by itself a brand name can create and stand for loyalty trust faith premiumness or mass market appeal depending on how the brand is marketed advertised and promoted to me a brand is not who you say you are a brand is who others say you are so question to think about what do people say about you when they think of you what words come to mind for instance when you see a massive yellow m what feeling do you get and i know a lot of people are not a fan of mcdonald's but you cannot deny that they stand for consistency every time you go in you know exactly what you're going to get the fries taste the same the hamburgers taste the same and even the ice cream machine always being broken is mcdonald's being consistent also what do you see when you see a blue logo with two p's in it when you see paypal what do you think i am so excited when i go on a website to buy something and i see that you can pay with paypal paypal for me stands for convenience when people think of you what words come to mind is it inconvenience is it inconsistency when they call you are they gonna get positive energy or are they gonna get down i feel sorry for myself they'll be down energy what is your most consistent energy that you give out is it positive or is it negative your brand is not who you think you are your brand is who people say you are so how do people feel around you ask them how you make others feel is truly who you are have you ever met those people who were so delusional and so clueless about the energy that they give out and they'll be the first people to say i'm a really nice person i'm such a sweet person i am so nice i don't know about you guys but i'm very wary of people who tell me what type of person they are i'm very big on let others praise you and not your own lips who you are should scream so loudly that you don't even have to say a word and it's not about who you are sometimes it's about who you are consistently and i'm not talking about bad days everyone has a bad day or two okay and so if someone met me on a bad day they may run with an idea that isn't exactly who i am but if they were to meet me again on a good day they may change their mind totally but i'm not talking about who you are on the worst day i'm talking about who you are consistently who are you 90 98% of the time and so when we're talking about rebranding I want you guys to know that new beginnings often start with very very bad endings so the first tip that I will give you for how to rebrand is to declutter emotionally now i will admit this can be very very difficult to do by yourself because we all have blind spots no matter how amazing we are no matter how amazing we think we are we all have blind spots i didn't realize how much baggage i was truly truly carrying and that's why i spent two years in therapy we all have blind spots right know when you're driving there's a part of your car that you cannot see and usually that part where you cannot see is a thing that causes the most harm 
to others and i really want you guys to see your blind spots because if you don't reveal it you can't heal it and then you can't deal with it reveal heal and deal so that's why i have joined up with better help to help you with everything being on lockdown it's very hard to get a therapist to meet in person but with better help you can get matched easily with a licensed board accredited counselor today with more than 3,000 therapists with 38 million counseling sessions if you feel like there's a blockage in your life if you feel like there's something that is always preventing you from being happy preventing you from moving ahead in life from achieving your goals before therapy i had so much negative patterns of thinking it was ridiculous i didn't want to be with myself because i didn't like myself because i didn't like the way that i was speaking to myself so better help is available for clients worldwide and you will have 24 7 access to your counselor and you can log in and contact them anytime it is more affordable than traditional counseling and even if you are struggling right now financial aid is also available better help really truly cares for people and they want you to start living your best happiest life today so i must say that this is not a crisis line this is not self-help but this is a professional counseling service done securely online so the sign up is super easily and i will display it right here so visit betterhelp.com forward slash Breeny lee and sign up today and take charge of your mental health and your mental well being so a massive thank you to better help for being today's wonderful sponsor after you have done counseling or if you've done therapy already and you are a little bit more advanced here's another thing that i do to declutter i journal i am a compulsive writer i'm a compulsive journaler if that's a word so what you want to do is you want to get your journal and you want to write down all the areas of struggle so you want to do your personal emotional life your relationships your work your family and your business you want to write down all the things that you feel you are struggling with right this second and you want to go to work on turning those weaknesses into strengths it's going to take time but be patient becoming the best version of yourself is not an overnight process another thing to do when you're decluttering and decluttering your mind is to declutter your space throw away any anything that has bad memories attached to it throw away things that you got from someone that was in your past life i feel like objects or gifts carry the presence of the person this is not being over spiritual i just feel like objects or gifts carry the spirit of the person because every time you look at that thing you're going to remember the person especially if you're trying to go through a breakup get rid of those things and declutter your space the third baggage that you need to declutter is your circle okay your circle of friends your circle of influence your family circle people that are hanging on by the last straw toxic friendships toxic relationships people that are leeches people that are sucking the life out of you every time you try to climb up they're pulling you down this may take a while to do but it is very very important you must you must you must shed dead weight so once you have cleared all of the junk out of your trunk <laughs> here are some questions i want you guys to ask yourself these are very important questions and you cannot move further until you get these things written down in stone so if you're watching me now grab your journal and write these questions down number one who am i now and who do i want to become in this space you can write down some people that you admire if you're on your phone get some pictures of people that you admire whether it is michelle obama oprah kate winslet kate middleton megan markle whoever it is going to inspire you to really level up but even when we're talking about who you are this can also be the things that i spoke about before who do people say that you are write those things down and then in the next column write who you want to be the next Next question to ask yourself is what are my core values your values are who you are what you do and what you don't do determine your values i'll give you a very quick example this is one of my values right i cannot and i will not steal and that also means cheating people right if someone gives me too much money in the shop i cannot leave the shop thinking i'm gonna get away with it without returning the people their money the other day an uber eats driver dropped me two meals instead of one i was like 
oh two for one then i was like nah nope 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 open the door and he was back at the doorstep looking for the second order and i was like my conscience is clear i always want to walk around with a clear conscience all right and a lot of people may feel like well no one saw me no one has to know but when you fear god you know he's always watching you so there's this thing that you just can't even get away with you just get pricked in your spirit right so that's one of my values another one of my values is to love right to do everything with love to love people to love of others the only reason i sit in my car and make these videos week after week is because of love the only reason i get up and i serve my partner is because of love the only reason i help my mum with whatever she wants is because of love right one of my values is just pure love the third question to ask yourself is what is important to you this is not about faking it if love isn't important to you don't write it down if being honest is not important to you then don't write it down but you must ask yourself what is important to me these are the things that create your foundation these are things that create your base who are you at your core and your core is made up of beliefs values and your identity the fourth question is how do i want others to describe me when i'm dead and gone what do i want people to say about me when i leave a room when i leave someone's house what words do i want them to say about me and you must be very clear with all these questions you must be very clear and very specific and the fifth and final question that you have to ask yourself is what am i willing to give up to become who i want to be because all change will take sacrifice you have to leave the old to cling on to the new and that change 98 percent of people do not make because it's too difficult it's so easy to remain who you are it's so easy to remain stuck but it's not until you get sick and tired of being sick and tired of your current situation your current circumstance your current mindset it's not until you become sick of where you are it's not until the pigsty that you're rolling around in isn't fun anymore it becomes nasty to you rolling around in the mud with other pigs tolerating other pigs it's not until you become sick and tired that you will make a change and the final thoughts i want to leave you guys with is to surround yourself with people who tell you the truth one of the videos that i want to make is why women lie to one another i'll give you a quick example when i put on weight and i say it to my friends i know they're trying to be nice but nice doesn't get you results nice doesn't move you further ahead right they'll be like oh no you look great i said i put on weights i don't like it i want to change oh no you look fine trust me trust me you look fine like i said nothing wrong with having nice friends but you want people that are going to tell you the truth about who you are and who you've become you want people to tell you the truth about your attitude about how you talk to people how you interact with people friends that are going to tell you the truth and that may only be one and if you don't have any friends like that i will be that friend to tell you your attitude sucks and you need to change now and the very very last thing that i will say to you everything in life is a risk not changing is a risk changing is a risk but like our good friend at nike always says just do it all right guys hope you enjoy this video and you feel a change i feel a change coming on can i get a hallelujah <laughs> guys if you enjoy this video if you're going to make a change smash the like button comment below what you want to change who you want to become who inspires you let's start a conversation in the comment section below and for those of you who made it to the end of this video you're the real mvp and because you made it to the end of the video i know that what i'm going to say is for you i want to create a group called the one percent those who are interested in personal growth in becoming the best version of themselves it will be a group run by me anything that i have coming out any events any announcements you guys will be the first to know but that one percent has to be invested in themselves and they also have to be invested in me so in order to get into this group which i will link below you must write me a paragraph who you are where you're from how long you've been following me what inspires you the most about me write as much as you would like the people that i select to be in this group will be in this group this is a group for learners people that want to learn that want to grow emotionally physically relationships financially everything and it will be a group run by 
me. The group is totally free, but I need those people that want to change. I need those people that I can rely on as well. So if you say that you love me, say that you're a fan of me and that I truly have helped to shape and change your life, you want to be in this group. So I'll put the link in my description box below. You're going to have to answer a few questions before you come in. And I'm only going to put you guys through the loops because I want to see who's very, very serious about this. So since you made it to the end of the video, this is my treat to you. So make sure you guys check out BetterHelp and also my Facebook group. All right, guys, see you in my next video. Bye.